Muchísimas gracias. Muy buenas noches. Ya. Thank you. Good night to everyone here present. Habernos invitado a esta clausura del cumbre de los pueblos. Thank you for inviting me to this summit. Hermano y compañero hermano Pineda por la invitación. A todos los I would like to thank my brother Pineda for the invitation. Estar en este acto. Al hermano Peter, el partido de los trabajadores de Bélgica, anfitrión de este evento también. A todos ustedes. I would like to thank noches. also to the host of this Quiero meeting and to everybody here present who is listening. El apoyo que recibimos quizás en los momentos más difíciles que atravesaba nuestra democracia. I also would like to thank your Mucha help, the help that you gave us during the hardest time in our country. Los hechos del 2019. I think it's worth remembering the, uh, the success of the 2019. A year when uh, a person who proclaimed herself president of the country was trying to unstabilize the government. Y en ese momento, cuanto más necesitábamos de la cooperación internacional, in that moment, que no estábamos solos, when we needed the most the help of the rest of neighboring countries, uh, we received so much help. It was uh, truly helpful and helped us to overcome the situation. El pueblo boliviano es un pueblo luchador. Es un pueblo que ha sabido conseguir the Bolivian people is uh, a people who know how to fight, a people who like to defend their principles. We also defend life. We have leaders that have been an example for the rest. We have uh, figures like Marcelo Quiroga, who was uh, killed trying to uh, defend the principles. We have shown that valentry and that maturity and that conscience to be able to defend and in democracy to be instituted. We have always shown uh, that we would defend our principles no matter the circumstances and no matter what is going on in that moment. Sino también, inclusive, atentados que hemos sufrido nosotros en plena campaña. We have suffered uh, the interference of other countries in our political affairs. Estábamos ahí, cuesta arriba, no estábamos en gobierno. Nuestros dirigentes perseguidos. Those were difficult times. We weren't in charge of the government. Nosotros muchos de ellos, porque teníamos la dictadura detrás de nosotros. We were uh, fighting against uh, the opposition. We were fighting against uh, a dictator. Vislumbrando, felizmente, que es muy, hay mucha diferencia entre un gobierno de derecha y habíamos vivido 14 años con un gobierno progresista. Those were difficult times. We were living a dictatorship after living uh, so many years, about 14 years, with a democracy. Y una economía sana y con el modelo económico, social, comunitario, productivo, hemos logrado crear un With a proper economic system with laws that could understand and could represent the people in our country. En nuestro país, y lo primero que hizo fue llenarse los bolsillos del dinero del pueblo boliviano. Once these people took power, the first thing they did was to take advantage of the progress and the money and the resources of people in Bolivia. En octubre del año 2020, con esa conciencia que le caracteriza. En octubre de 2020, para las bolivianas y los bolivianos, con más de 50 años. Uh, that democracy that we once had, uh, I'm glad to say that it came back, and, that, and now it's stronger than ever, and we are enjoying now the benefits of it. Y es que la derecha se basó en tantos uh, manuales para hacer el golpe de Estado. Que se olvidó de que la política y en realidad. The opposition was too focused trying to uh, 
destroyed the system that we already had, that they forgot that the Bolivian people uh, know how to fight, how to defend their rights. And after the elections, we will have to face uh, many challenges, for example, uh, like the pandemic. I would also like to highlight that we uh, also enjoyed the collaboration, the help from the president of the uh, of the Asian country. That is a dear friend from us, uh, the president of China. I'm proud to say that we have evolved, that we have changed. We're facing some challenges. We are facing now a big debt, but we will overcome this situation and we will uh, develop our country. Because the current system is the one that has shown that this is how the Bolivian people can uh, improve their life conditions economically and health care and education. In 2008, started a crisis, a crisis that we all know, that has several consequences for the whole world, but also to Bolivia. This is a, a situation that needs to change, that hasn't changed since it started. And international organizations need to take action in order to solve this crisis. Right now, we are seeing a series of processes. For instance, we are seeing that in Latin America, hegemony is being severely affected. In spite of it, we have uh, keep fighting, we keep fighting, and we have been able to uh, stabilize our situation. We have been able to collaborate uh, between the countries in Latin America. We have been working actively through organizations, through social organizations, in order to uh, in order to provide uh, the Latin American people the stability and the life conditions they deserve. And in order to achieve that, uh, all sectors in Bolivian government, the Bolivian system, participated for be able to accomplish uh, this goal. It's also very important to highlight that we believe that we are living in a multipolar world with a very remarkable hegemony, an hegemony that capitalist countries have established in the world. And therefore, we have the duty to respect our nature, the Mother Earth. We need to respect as well our resources. We need to defend uh, the countryside, the country people, and the indigenous people. We also need to remember that we can't all, only uh, care about the human well-being. We need to care and we need to take action also for the Earth well-being. 
es controlable. La crisis no es controlable. We need to keep in mind that we don't need to fight climate change because change means that it's something that is uh, constantly evolving, but this is not a change, this is a crisis, and we need to address it now in order to solve the major problem. These are the major concerns that we have been analyzing and solving uh, through this meeting. We have always criticized a, a capitalist system that is um, destroying Earth and destroying the resources of other countries. Nowadays, uh, we are using natural resources, not for enrichment, not for self-enrichment, but in uh, we are using it to uh, improve life conditions of the people. We are destining all this income for the people. We are always going to reject all the sanctions and policies against our neighboring countries. We reject all the policies and all the blockage against our brother Cuba and Venezuela. We reject uh, these sanctions and policies because they have, they affect directly uh, not only the governments but also the people. The people who are the ones who are uh, seeing the consequences of these policies are now starving and they lack the essential resources to have a decent life. The North is uh, implying these politics, these sanctions, to prove to the world the hegemony that they have, the power that they have. So I would like to say that in name of the Bolivian people, I would like to say that we're very happy to be here. I'm very glad that we have been able to share our thoughts and concerns in this meeting. The ideas that we have shared during this meeting uh, are the ones who are going to set the path to solve all of the problems and the crisis that we're going through right now. And that's why we came here. We came here to share our thoughts, to unite uh, our forces and our resources, to get an agreement and be able to solve all the problems that we're facing right now, not only Latin 